YouTube, my guys, my girls, it's your man's Veracity TT back again. <laughs> this tutorial is for Apple Silicon Max. I want you guys to click this symbolic linker 2.2 DMG here because we are about to install this nice little feature that allows us to install our internal content from plugin VSTIs. Like for example, you know, Omnisphere, Contact, you know, those type of plugin makers, even though by default, those particular examples allow you to install the content onto an external drive. However, we do have some plugins that don't allow you to do that. It's just by default on the Mac, installs on your internal, which can be a big drag if you got the M1 and you have one of the smaller um, hard drive sizes. So a way around that is this basically this symbolic linker. What it does is trick the programs into thinking that it's accessing the true file instead of a shortcut. So it's pretty clever and it's pretty cool. Whoever designed this, it's on GitHub. So go ahead and check it out. Um, yeah, so just follow along here in the tutorial and I'm gonna get you right. You know, you know. So those are the instructions right there going to go ahead and click them and read them and see what they say let's see let's see let's see open the folder title library at the root of your boot disk make sure there's a folder their name services if the folder doesn't exist then make one with exactly that name without the quotas of course okay so you are gonna right click on finder at the bottom of your screen taskbar left corner then click on finder go down to settings and go to sidebar here tab go to the sidebar tab and this is where you can select what you see over here in your finders tab and this is how you can easily get to your system settings like i just click desktop and you can see desktop appear there at the bottom so this is how you get to your hard drives you know external internal your icloud storage everything so this is how you turn it on so if you see like mine is has that negative mark that mean I have multiple partitions and I have some of them on and some of them off. So basically just click in, select library and go to services. Now I have a services folder because I created it. At first I did not have a services folder. So let's go ahead and create the service folder. I'm gonna show you and continue the tutorial from here. So I'm gonna click on my Mac OS external drive here and scroll down to library and you can see I don't have a services folder. So now I'm going to go ahead and create the services folder that I need to like the instructions told us and we're going to put that file in there. All right. Now, before I continue, let me just explain that I'm on Mac OS external, which is an external SSD uh, drive. So I'm not on my internal running Mac OS. I'm actually running Mac OS off of SSD external. So keep that in mind. Now you can see I'm moving in the background, the aviator files as we speak. So I'm gonna click up here at the top right action and click new folder. It's gonna prompt you to put your password in because you need administrative privileges to add a folder in this particular section. All right, so type that in. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Let me type get to my password, right? All right. Now, then you're just gonna name it services. Remember capital S, then all lowercase from there. Make sure you put the S on services and not service. All right. So we're gonna take a look here and see which file we have to put inside this services here. All right, so that's our next step. So let's just go ahead and do that. We're gonna copy the symbolic linker dot service um, bundle that came with the distribution into the services folder, okay? So I just grabbed that. I got two screens, so yeah, I grabbed that uh, symbolic linker and just dropped it in there, okay? Then I'm gonna double click on it and run it, okay? Now, once it pops up, just click the open here, give you that warning, of course. Go ahead and just click open. And when you inside, now what we have to do is go to the services inside of the settings and uh, we have to turn it on. So I'm gonna show you how to do that step next. Okay, here we are in the system preferences. So click there on keyboard. We're gonna go up top where it says shortcuts. Then we're gonna click on the tab that says services. 
once you're here go ahead and scroll down until you find something that says make a symbolic link you see that make sure it's checked and you want to click add the shortcut there so you want to do all of these steps okay so again now we're going to go back to mac os external or for you internal i'm going to click library i'm going to go to audio i'm going to where the plugins are and plugins down there and then we're going to go to components because this is how the plugin developer designed it to work in the component section since we're here on mac then we're going to click in aviator instruments this is where they are now you can see I've already transferred all the files and there's the symbolic link, the shortcut icon telling you it's not the actual file. All right. So the only one that you can't do for this particular plugin is the intro because how he designed this particular plugin to work or the team that, you know, built this plugin, um, the intro has to be the actual file and not a symbolic link. It didn't work when I tried to make every single one of them a symbolic link. But this is where I have the files installed on my external here or there. And uh, what you do, you right click, make symbolic like I just did. You drag it and you drop it over there. Then you rename it to where you take out the sim link in the, in the name. But remember, don't make the symbolic link um, the intro. Everyone except the intro for this particular plugin, okay? So this is the only plugin that I tested it on so far because most plugin developers design it to where you can manually move um, you know the content to your external during the install this particular one didn't offer that feature So this is a way around it and that's how you do it. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate you Take care. Peace